Hi, welcome to another video. Today we are going to fit this uh, picket fence around the, the whole of this kind of vegetable patch uh, allotment and that will keep uh, the ducks and the chickens off there, keep the dog off it and just give it kind of a nice little neat way of keeping it as a separate part of the garden. Uh, so what I've done first is just removed uh, about half a metre of turf next to this path. We're going to create a narrow bed on the other side of the picket fence. So I've taken that out now and I'm just going to run a string line nice and tight so I can mark out where the posts go all the way around uh, and just kind of get a feel for where we're going to put the fence and I'll just use some spray paint just to kind of mark out exactly where we want to kind of bore where we're going to put our posts in. It took about 25 minutes to do, um, I had nine holes, nine holes, uh, the two end posts are actually bolted to the concrete wall, uh, so it worked pretty well. Just around these roots I use a spade and the auger, but that still worked really well. So uh, I'm going to get the posts now. So because we want a, a painted finish on the fence, um, or a coloured stain, we wanted smooth timber. So the, the pickets themselves are a nice smooth plain finish. Um, so it made sense to try and find a smooth post and rails. But actually most fencing stock is all really rough sawn. So it wouldn't really have matched up and it'd be quite hard to paint as well. Um, so I've got some structural timbers instead. Now they're treated and uh, instead of using three by three posts, which would have been fine, for a meter high fence. Um, I've actually picked up some three by four. So it's a little bit stronger as well. Probably a better timber because it's a structurally graded timber and it's still treated. Um, and we'll make sure we get some gravel in the bottom of all those holes as well. So, you know, that there's no soil in contact with the bottom of these posts. Ideally, you, you don't want any wood in the ground because eventually it will rot, but uh, for, for the ease and for the budget we've got, I think it's probably the best way to go. We'll sink them in, we'll do everything we can um, by adding a bit of extra um, wood preservative, gravel on the bottom and uh, make sure there's no soil around the neck of it above ground.
quite a large space to go in now and we're going to leave a metre space for the gate with a small gap either side as well for the hardware. So there we go, that's all of the posts in, really solid and concreted in. And, uh, and looking down the line, I think everything is kept nice and straight. So they're ready for the rails and the pickets that will be the next part. Uh, and I'll do another video for that. I have already carried on and done a little bit of an extra addition at the bottom. Again, so these posts are using six by twos, uh, treated timber, and I've got a load of topsoils to use up. So I've brought those um, in on the inside of those posts to act as a bit of a retaining wall and then we'll shift all that topsoil down there and it will kind of raise up the ground level inside and flatten it off a bit. And then we'll cut the tops of all the posts so they're nice and even and then get the pickets done. So thanks for watching, tune in for the next video when we'll be doing all those bits and remember to subscribe if you haven't done already. And if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.